Welcome back to the Pig Trail. It is time to talk baseball. Mike Irwin joining me again. A lot of new faces on this baseball team this season, but it does look like this offense could still be pretty powerful like last year. Yeah, Tara, from what we've seen so far uh, in the preseason, there does not appear to be even one soft spot in the batting order. Robert Moore, Arkansas 17-year-old second baseman who joined the team in January, he knows a thing or two about hitting. Having learned the game from major league players, his dad is GM of the Royals. Right off the bat, he says he knew something special was brewing when he saw these guys at the plate in practice. We go to practice and to see these guys in person and not just on TV and you get to see their, their drill work and everything. And you're just blown away at how strong, um, how skilled they are, um, how, how good their swings are and how intentional their drill work is. It's not just the projected starting lineup that can hit. In preseason scrimmages, with the squad split into two teams, both have had enough hitting to go around. We're going to have guys not play as much this year that they could start on other programs in the SEC and in this conference. So it says a lot about this team that you have guys like that that aren't going to play as much as you know they could somewhere else. But you got to play defense too. Another newcomer, J.C. transfer and junior college All-American Braden Webb says there are no weak spots defensively either, and it's not by accident. Coach Van Horn in practice, we always try to do the little things right. And I think defensively we work on just all of our cuts and just the really small things so that come game time we're ready and we can execute. The one question mark may be the starting pitching, especially on Friday nights. As juniors, Blaine Knight followed by Isaiah Campbell were a combined 26-1 and over the past two seasons. As good as Connor Nolan and Patrick Wicklander look right now, that's going to be hard to top. We might not have a true ace, but the versatility that we have with all the pitchers that we do, um, you know, we, we got a lot of depth for sure, and those two guys should definitely lead us. Now the main thing, Tara, right now, it's really hard to spot a weakness with this team. They're almost injury-free, depth galore, lots of talent, and players are raving about the coaching they've been getting. Yeah, I saw you mentioned Connor Nolan in that story a little bit. He's he's jacked up a little bit. He's been in the gym working out. What are your thoughts on him? Yeah, he's beefed up. He, <laughs> he looks pretty intimidating, not only with that, but the, he's got this mustache thing going on. And <laughs> the little goatee at the bottom, it's really thick. It looks a lot more intimidating. Uh, he's had some really good scrimmages. Looks like he's going to be the Friday night guy at the start. It's just important for fans to understand he's a, he's a sophomore. He's not likely going to go to 15-0 and or 14-1. and Blaine Knight and Isaiah Campbell set an almost impossible standard past two seasons. What he has to do is go more innings. Last year he was good for maybe two or three, maybe four. This year five or six would be nice. Yeah, absolutely. And I mean, the team was a home run machine last year. You think they can probably replicate that? Yeah, I think you start with those two guys. They're really good and they're going to be better probably this year. But then again, you got the, the left fielder, Webb, who's just not going to yeah. cover off the ball. You know, you've got Robert Moore, who's a good contact hitter, uh, switch hitter. I mean, he can hit for a little power, too. So you just look up and down that lineup, and I think there's going to be more home runs hit this year than last year and probably a higher team batting average. It's going to be an exciting season over at Baumwalker Stadium.